Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Grain markets all finished up lower yesterday with soybeans leading the way to the downside. Been mixed so far this morning. Big news out yesterday was the Fed's decision to taper quantitative easing by $10 billion starting in January. Stock market took off with that, making new all-time highs. It's really hammered the gold market uh, as well. But moving forward, grain market specific stuff, ex export sales released this morning. Corn and wheat exceeded expectations and soybeans a actually made a new marketing year low for their export sales and missed trade expectations. A um, little mix so far this morning, not surprising. Uh, beans at the break were lower while corn and wheat were higher. Again, not surprising based on what I just told you. So another news item we got out yesterday was Informa releasing their 2014 planted acres estimates. They lowered bean planted acres by around 1.9 million acres from their previous estimate, and they raised the, uh, the soybean planted acres, I think around 300, or corn, excuse me. They raised their corn planted acre estimate around 300 million acres. So if you want the specifics of all that, including the export sales numbers, head over to grainanalyst.com. It's all there for you. So moving forward today, we'll see how the trade digests this latest round of export sales once we reopen back up. And if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.